It is fitting that we take time to look back and reflect on the massive transformation of Singapore over time. Some of Singapore's most iconic and beloved institutions first took shape in the 19th century, and they have grown and evolved alongside the country over the last 200 years. It is also time to pay tribute to the human spirit and dedication that have helped to build up these institutions. These early pioneers exemplified the values of multiculturalism, openness, and self-determination. And these are the values that we have inherited from them, and that are now embedded within the Singapore DNA. They will continue to guide us as a people, as we move forward together, from Singapore to Singaporean. Please take out your flags and wave them as the floats go by. First off, the Singapore Volunteer Rifle Corps formed in 1854. Over the years, it has contributed to the defense of Singapore, from quelling the Sepoy Mutiny to defending key locations during World War II. It was the forerunner of the Singapore Armed Forces, which has transformed into a strong and modern defense force that exemplifies the people's spirit of self-determination. The largest docking company in the 19th century was the Tanjung Paga Dock Company. Today, PSA International is a leading global port group, operating the world's largest container transshipment hub in Singapore, which underscores the continued importance of maritime trade to our country. The Straits Times was first launched in 1845 as an eight-page weekly, published using a hand-operated press. Today, the Straits Times has ten bureaus and special correspondents in major cities worldwide, and it continues to transform the way that Singaporeans access news with their digital platforms. Founded in 1858, Robinson's established itself as a household name in Singapore and as a mecca for shoppers with their product and service innovations. Over the years, the company weathered many storms to become a valuable player in Singapore's vibrant retail sector. The Singapore General Hospital began as a small shed near the Singapore River to treat British troops. It settled at Sepoy Lines along Utram Road, and many older Singaporeans remember the place as Sea Bipole. It provided generations of Singaporeans with affordable health care and helped Singapore create one of the most successful healthcare systems in the world. Singapore's first police force was founded in 1820 with a skeleton crew of 12 men, while the Singapore Fire Brigade was established in 1888. The Fire Brigade was later renamed and merged with the Civil Defence Force to form the Singapore Civil Defence Force, SCDF. Together, the Singapore Police Force and SCDF form an integral part of the home team and help to keep Singapore safe and secure. Post Office Savings Bank, POSB was established in 1877 to provide low-cost banking services for the people of Singapore. Today it continues to innovate and use digital platforms to engage with its customers, reflecting Singapore's transformation into a digital economy. Singapore Post oh, Limited started out as a small mail office in colonial times. In the early days, the flying of a flag or firing of a gun would announce the arrival of a ship with mail from overseas. With the digitalization of its suite of postal services today, SingPost is helping to bring Singapore another step closer to becoming a smart nation. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise to express our appreciation for the participants of our bicentennial. Keep waving those.